Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Remeyer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the Knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Remire Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> oh. Professor! A bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. I see. So you'll be staying here for some time then. Honestly, I'm surprised. I've heard it's been a few years since you last donated to the church. That was merely because of the financial situation of my territory. I assure you it has nothing to do with my dedication to the church. By the way, Dimitri, isn't Edelgard currently enrolled at the Officer's Academy as well? Yes, she's in the Black Eagle House. I don't believe she has any plans to leave anytime soon. Why not pay her a visit? I may do just that. It's nice to stay in touch with my dear niece every now and then. Of course, I'm also delighted that I was able to speak with my nephew as well. Whether through marriage or otherwise, family is family after all. Of course. The feeling is mutual. Professor. If you were watching, you should have made your presence known. That was Lord Arendelle, the regent for the Empire. He is also Edelgard's uncle. My stepmother was his younger sister. We are not related by blood, but he is technically my uncle. Yes, 
My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Edelgard and I are siblings by marriage. We can delve into that topic another time. For now, let's make preparations to investigate what's happening in that village. Oh dear, the princess of the Empire and the kingdom's prince are kin. How very odd. All beings are attached somehow to those who are their family. Yes, even I. I must have had a family too. I wish I could remember them. My family. I wonder who and where they are, and what they're doing now. In any case, about this Arendelle. You've heard that name before, correct? Quite true. We came across that name within the library, right where the prince had been. I thought that Arendelle had died. And yet, not so. He seems alive and well. I wonder what the prince had hoped to learn from reading of his uncle's charity. So many things the prince has yet to tell. How bothersome. A new path to tread. Oh, what a relief! Huh, okay. No big deal, really. I must continue to work hard. I actually passed? We've got to go, now. The situation in Ramire Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. your time on me. Saving the villagers is far more important. We haven't a moment to lose. What can we do amid such confusion? We'll have to take up arms against the villagers who are rampaging. If we strike carefully, it should be possible to spare their lives. Oh dear. Isn't there a more peaceful way to deal with this? No matter how long it takes, we'll need to check and rescue them all, one at a time. Those who have gone mad may be victims themselves. Is it possible to save them? 
Well, saving the poor people who aren't crazy is definitely our top priority. Let's get on with it. Slow down, Annette. It won't do anyone any good if we panic and get injured ourselves. Isn't that... Your Highness, suspicious figures spotted in the village. They seem to be... watching the chaos. Are they the ones responsible for this madness? If so, it's clear what must be done. Kill them all. Don't let a single one of them escape! Sever their limbs and crush their wicked skulls! There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Thank 
you. Ready. Give it my own. Stay focused. Cut through. What should I do? giving orders to the others. Isn't that Tomas, the librarian?
क्यों Tomas, what are you doing here? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all. What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Derek Mach to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. I'll have a bit of fun here too. 
That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is. Get too slow!
My thanks. Rescued as many as we can. Now it's time to capture Sol. Now's our chance. Already?
Thank you. What should I do? Here we go. I'll cut through. Next time, bring your friends. Stronger, huh? We'll see. Give up. This is what a real man looks like. I'll give it my all. Now. 
Top priority is to kill Solar. Battle, a chance to grow. You are but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me?
had a chance. I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. Each new experience is an asset. Yields results. what I was after. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? <laughs> I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. Wait! Damn it, he's gone! <laughs> I... will survey the village. There may still be some survivors. Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramayar Village. There you are. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Pity, though not unexpected. 
pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Geralt, Professor, have you seen His Highness? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery, I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery, if only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Ah, uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Professor, I... I'm sorry you saw that side of me in the village. It must have been quite a shock to you and the others. I'm mortified by my behavior. When I saw the chaos and violence there, my mind just went completely dark. I see. So that happens to you as well, then. I've told you before that someday we may find ourselves facing something we simply cannot accept. That's what the chaos in Ramire Village was to me. Solon and the Flame Emperor are both beasts who must be eliminated. Demons who kill the innocent. They aren't even human at this point. It must be hard to fathom. It's true that I don't have any strong connection to those villagers. And yet... You see, Professor... I saw the same flames of torment just four years ago. In Dusker. Please! Have mercy! The pain! Make the burning stop! Help me! Somebody! Avenge us! Those who killed us! Tear them apart! Destroy them all! <sighs> my father, my stepmother, four years ago, they lost their lives to those flames. I'll never forget. I still remember their faces, their screams, the tortured last moments of every person who died that day. But right now... <sighs> All that matters is that we do whatever we can to help the surviving villagers get back to their normal lives. Thank you... for everything. There's a reason that I came to the Officer's Academy. Just one reason. I came here for revenge. And one day... I will have it. You did well handling that awful business in Umayyar village. I am certain the Goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze?
Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia before returning to the monastery once again just last year. After having worked at Garrig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officers' Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlin. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows, their identities a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all! I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the Goddess Sothis protect you. The Goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. In that case, farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go!